Did you know that you can set up your wedding gift registry on Amazon and include items from their entire catalog instead of just home decor and appliances? And did you know that your loved ones would be able to buy and send you presents prior to the wedding in just a couple of clicks? Today we are going to show you how to create your Amazon wedding registry so that your wedding guests, friends and family can purchase gifts you have already chosen and put on the list. First, log into your account and go to the list section. This is where you can create a list of things you want to buy, or a so-called wish list to share with family and friends when your birthday is approaching, or when Christmas is coming. But when we scroll down, aside of some of the benefits of using lists on Amazon, we found the options to set up baby and wedding registries. Let's go for our Amazon wedding gift list. If you know someone who is getting married and they have their registry on Amazon, you can enter their names on this search box and see their gift list as long as it is public. Here we confirm that any product from the entire Amazon site can be added to our wedding list and that we will get discounts on the items that remain on the registry after the wedding aside from other benefits like two-day shipping and easy returns. Sounds good. Let's see what info is required to create the registry. Okay. Our name and our partner's name to begin with. The date of our wedding or an estimated one if we don't know it yet. An approximate number of guests who will be attending the ceremony. Whether we are setting up a wedding registry anywhere else. You will need to provide an address and a telephone number so that your gifts can be sent. The default address on your account, the one you entered when you signed up, will appear here. Modify it if need be. Lastly, you can set your registry to be public and so searchable on the site. You can make it shareable to share it via a link with the people you want exclusively. Or you can set it as private. Optionally, it can also be included in the Knot.com, a popular wedding planning website that has partnered with Amazon. All right, recommendations are always welcome. That was easy. Our Amazon wedding registry has been created. All we need to do now is start choosing and adding gifts. We can add items from anywhere on the website by clicking the Add to Wedding Registry option on any detail page, or else by choosing items from the Gift Advisor section, or the Featured Brands and Collections. Once we complete our registry, we will be able to share our link, send thank you notes to those who purchase from the list, and benefit from exclusive discounts. The main page of our wedding gift list shows the number of gifts available, how many have been purchased, our names, and the days to go until the big day. As we will see later, the gifts will be sorted out by budget. Let's explore our seemingly empty registry. This is what it looks like right now. A one-year Amazon Prime membership and a $20 Amazon gift card are added to our registry by default.
We remove the Amazon Prime membership. But when we try to do the same with the gift card, we are advised not to in order for the buyers to have more options. That sounds fair enough, so we leave it. We'll start by picking some items from the gift advisor to see how it works. As could not be otherwise, Amazon assumes that we are moving to a new place and therefore we need lots of homeware and kitchenware. Most of this stuff is really nice though. So we'll add a set of skillets. A steamer for clothes. And this cozy duvet. We would like to get out of the advisor and take a look at the Amazon site. We will browse through all the sections we already know. And which have nothing to do with weddings and couples. We both love technology and photography. So why not add a new digital camera? We spot the Add to Registry button down here in the Details page. We click and it's done. At this point, we could already start sharing the list with our friends and family. Our personal URL link has been created, while we can equally post it to our social media profiles or email it. Here's where we will see who has purchased items from the list to send them a thank you note. And here's where we'll manage and change the settings of our wedding registry. At the top, we have the option to specify who is the bride and who is the groom if we want. And we can also add the email address of our partner. Then, we get yet another chance to confirm our address, agree to the fact that it may be shared with shipping companies, and decide whether we want our gifts wrapped or not. Info about our wedding such as the date, the location, and the number of guests can be provided or modified from this settings page. But more importantly, here's where we can enable group gifting, that is to allow split payments between two or more people. We'll set the minimum at $200. If we change our mind, we may set our Amazon wedding registry to be public and searchable on the site. Keep it shareable with the people we choose only or private, just for the registered members. Once you decide if you want your wedding gift list to appear on the NOT website as well or not, save your changes or delete the registry and start all over. As we continue adding gifts to our registry, we may take advantage of some of the features provided, like selecting gifts within certain budgets to favor specific guests. Now we are only being shown items with prices between $50 and $100.
That bread toaster looks good. But now we'll add some things from the Amazon catalog as well. You will always be able to see how many items you have added and how many have been purchased on your registry page. Or check the whole list, access each item, modify your desired quantity or delete it. What do you think about our Amazon wedding registry so far? Will you be creating yours soon? Let us know with a comment.